On this episode of Picker Road, it's Thrifting Thursday and Hot Dog, we're on the hunt for treasure. Hey, did you say hot dog? That sounds good. And as always, we're going to take you right along for the adventure. Join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. Okay, it is Thrifting Thursday. The color of the day is blue. So let's see what we can find. All right. I'm excited, Will. Are you? Always. Ooh, we're starting with a mugshot. Let's hope that there's something really good. What is this? No, it's just a production piece. I just was intrigued. It's got a lobster and fish. Hmm. What is that? Hey, uh, lobster. I imagine we're going to get some pretty good seafood when we're in the Pacific Northwest in a couple of days. I can't wait. I'm so excited. You guys, we're going to take you along for a really good adventure. Hey, uh. Does home mean New Jersey? <laughs> to some people. Look at this mug. What is that? It's upside down. No, I guess it's just, oh, Puerto Vallarta. It's a All tourist right. piece. We'll leave that guy right there. Do you see anything of interest, Will? I'm looking. It's an interesting shape, Pier 1. Always like Pier 1 products. Obviously, it's a tourist piece as well, but I like the luster on this Miami one. I know. That is so Miami Beach, huh? Pioneer Woman, I thought so. Ah. Pioneer Woman mug. It looks like it's never been used. Yeah, that's great condition. I think maybe we'll pick it up. Look at the butterfly and the flowers. That's really pretty. You don't see another one, do you? I'm looking. Look down here, maybe. Nope, don't see, see any it. others. But I think I'll pick that up. It's beautiful condition, and it's just really nice. Very good. Look at all the flowers they have. It's like they've gotten some new flowers and different types of foliage and all sorts of ornamentation. Oh, look at that cute little birdhouse. He's heavy. My goodness. What is that? That's some sort of basket made in China. Definitely a piece that's made to look old, not old at all. Let's see what kind of signage we have. Look at this, William. Isn't this interesting? Hmm. It's some sort of spice bottle rack. It's a shame it's missing one of them. I know, because it's very Danish modern. Yeah. It's not, doesn't appear to be marked. If that wasn't missing one, I would definitely pick that up. It's just so obvious that it's missing one. That's too bad. What are those? Those are just little vintage. They're not home coat. They're made exclusively for home interiors. interiors. It's huh. so 70s. The colors, though, are actually 80s. That was kind of when they did a lot of those Southwest colors. Right. Let's see what else. We have some marquetry here, praying hands. It's well done, in good condition. Somebody might want to pick that up. Let's see what else. Lots of wood. Oh, bunnies. What is that? Is that a cutting board? Oh, it looks like oh, it. It is. Oh, that's so cute. That's very cute. Very heavy, though, so it'd be super heavy to ship. But I love the bunnies on oh, it. Hey, look at this. What do you see? It's like a cheese board from um, the Boulder City, uh, Boulder City, Nevada, of course, home to the Hoover Dam. So that's why it's joking that you're cutting the <clears throat> cheese. Ah, I see. We've got some more of these salad utensils. We're starting to see these yeah, now a lot. bamboo. You keep seeing those. I do. What's that back there? Do you see that bell? Let's see what that... Oh, it is heavy. All right. So it is obviously... Um, I don't know if that's Chinese or Korean, but it is 
a heavy brass bell. Let me get a clear look at the um, characters. Let us know in the comments what that is. Well, we're in kind of like the mishmash section where they have all sorts of pottery things. And I found this really nice handmade uh, little lidded jar. It is hand signed by the artist. Hard to make out, but I can make out Cambria. Of course, Cambria is on the central coast of California, not far from Hearst Castle. And uh, this is beautiful. Look at the colors of the glaze. Cambria is very much an artist enclave. Very much so. And this is a really nice piece. This is well made. And uh, I love it. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Let's see what the vases yield today. Pretty colors, but I'm not seeing anything old. What is this? It's a... Uh, transfer is almost worn off. It is. It's, it's a swan. Bad. And then down here, that's heavy. Ah, oh, that is a hand thrown piece, but it's obviously an amateur piece. And this is Hallmark. Hallmark. That's pretty. Let's see what else we have down here. What is this mug? It is the biggest little city in the world, Reno. We've been there. Of course. And what is this? Some sort of Christmas decoration. What does it say on the inside? Oh, ba uh, bath, bath and, and body, body works. works. Okay. Obviously some sort of lotion or something came in there. And it's kind of like a handkerchief vase, glass. Not, a, not such a great pontal. I don't think that's anything too spectacular. I'm gonna leave that. And let's keep going here. Mostly um, clear glass. Oh, look at the movie vases. Where do you see those? Oh, those are kind of fun, aren't they? Oh, look, that was just put on there. I'll bet you it was a party of some kind. Obviously. There's a whole bunch of them. That's nice. Maybe give somebody a, an idea for a party to have. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Shall we check out the art? All right. Now, last time we checked out the art at a different Goodwill, we found a Matisse print. Mm -hmm. That was pretty fun. Oh, what is this little guy? Oh, it looks like painted porcelain. Oh, yeah, this is old. Brooklyn. Look at that. Brooklyn, New York. E.A. Reba Company, Incorporated. <laughs> they went $3.99 for that. That is an old piece. That's pretty. That is, that is really, really pretty. You'd have to be decorating in this style, but you know, that, that's really pretty. I think I'm going to pick that up. Very nice. I think somebody would really like that. No, I, I think it's great. Uh -oh. All right, let's see what else we have. One little piece down. And what is, what is this? That is a woodcut, it looks like. It looks like it is hand signed. And it says, I. Uh, G. Renson. Shall we give that a look up? Yeah, let's do. Is it Renson or Henson? Um, I think it's Renson. It looks like it closes. And it says something. Mm, I can't read it. I'm not even sure if that's in English. Well, let's look it up. Yeah, but that's, a, that's an actual woodcut. Well, we couldn't find anything right away on this particular artist, but this is an original piece. It's uh, handwritten on there, and there's the signature starting right there. You can see there's the G-R-E, so this is signed by the artist underneath this mat. So this is an absolute yes. And I'm really curious about what AAPB means. It just needs more research. It does, but this is an absolute yes and right in the cart. And while now you, William. <laughs> while we were looking it up, I just spied over to the left for a second and I saw these and I freaked out. These are original animation cells from Back to the Future, the animated series. Every single one of them has a COA on it from Universal. I, I can't believe it. They are actual production cells. They're anywhere from $4.99 to $1.99 a piece. I'm getting the entire lot of them. This one's even marked. Yeah, look at that. 
seems to mainly be this one character here, but I think it's just fantastic. Their animation cells, you can't, you can't beat it. And they're all, they've all got their COAs. Absolutely. Good find, Will. Let's take a look at the jewelry. Well, it was really crowded out at the jewelry counter. So I went ahead and just grabbed these two pieces. Do you like him, Will? Ahem. Ahem. Me, 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 me. He's a hoot. There we go. Uh, he is a hoot and he is old. He's old enameled. You can just tell. He's probably 70s. And uh, he's got a really nice long chain. Looks like something Florence Henderson would wear in a Brady Bunch episode, right? Probably. But I liked him. And uh, he's, he's a hoot. And then this bracelet, my goodness, it feels like silver. I can't find any markings on it. It's got the weight, but even just on its own, it's a little mustard seed with a little charm that says faith. And of course, the biblical saying, uh, faith as small as a mustard seed. And it's a really nice little toggle closure silver bracelet. So grab those two pieces and uh, hey, what do you say we go on to another Goodwill? Thrifting Thursday continues. It's happening. Yay. Okay, so we are at our second Goodwill. I am still over the moon about those animation cells. I can't wait to do more research on them, and maybe we'll find something like that here. Good pickup, William. It really was. Quite a few figurines here. Look at this little Dutch girl. She looks to be quite old. Looks like she's washing something maybe oh it looks like felicity back there is from 1774. well she's very old <laughs> let's see down here we have a oh, willow, tree. willow tree oh her arm has been reattached right there Aww. and what else do we have kurt adler again though that's a snow globe very hard to ship we have a votive candle angel a little cutesy little bank but very lightweight let's see what we have here we've got some fun animals look at this guy that's that a wacky is, zebra it sure is it is plastic though and uh not very high quality i don't think what do we have here we have a lot of zebras oh look that's a tin toy zebra what does it say there made in china, china. It's, a, it's a repop it's a repop and it's also broken. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't broken, I might be interested, but it doesn't have its little handle. And that is a little shelf sitter zebra. They're all kind of inexpensive, though. Hey, look at this frog up here. Aww. He's fun. He's new. And he's missing some little glitter pieces. Aww. These look like the ones you find that you get uh, from India. Mm -hmm. But And he's missing a toe. Aww. All right. Well, hop on back to the shelf. Yep, he's got a lot of, a lot of things going wrong. Ding, 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 ding. What does the fox say? I just told you. Oh, there. Now I know. This is uh, Beatrix Potter by UNESCO. Mm-hmm. Two ninety-nine. Let's see what it looks like. I don't think it's anything spectacular, but oh, look at that! Isn't that cute? Oh, oh it's a letter little cute little mouse and i see another one here that's very cute 2005. this one's the letter x so it's x and z okay let's Can, look them up let's look it up unfortunately it only sells for about ten dollars um and it's truly not what we're looking to do we're looking for a little higher end type uh items so it's cute just in case it was a a really rare one we did want to check it out though so okay Let's put that back for someone else. Okay, I love Finding Nemo, but it looks to me like Marlin had too much coffee. Yeah, I, I'd say so. And look at these little penguins. They are, hmm, nothing, nothing too big. Look at this. Somebody obviously donated their entire penguin collection. Now, he's made in Japan, but he's got a chip there and he's got a chip on his beak. So he's a no-go. Let's see, we've got some ducks and what do they say on there napco wear so those are older those are some older ducks but honestly the ducks the pheasants they don't they don't excite me too much what do we have down here will what is this guy we have now this is interesting 
We have a painted egg in there. They want $1.99. What is this? It's just a little wood painted egg, but what's going on there? And then this little rabbit dish is eh, just an inexpensive little rabbit dish. Mm. All right, I think we're going to leave that. That egg is not of the highest quality. What else do we have down here? This is interesting, except it's cracked. Oh, darn. Made in Italy, uh, Japan. 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 That's a nice wall pocket, but that crack, mm, that's a no-go too. All right, let's move on to the next shelf. Look at this lighthouse. Wow. That is Thomas Point, and it's uh, Lefton. GZ Lefton for George Z. Lefton. It huh. is the Lefton Lighthouse. It's got a lot of chips on it, but it I just does. like the design of it. I, I've always loved lighthouses. And it's also missing a the inner bulb mm -hmm. that would make it light up like a nightlight. Oh, I don't have it. There we go. You got it? Okay, now look at this, William. This is interesting. Look at the color on that piece. And now what does it say? It says Rubens Originals. It is signed. What does it say under that at the bottom there? I don't know. Can you read that? Yeah. Yes, please. It says Japan and then copyright Los Angeles. Yeah, this is a nice little piece. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's a nice little piece of mid-century pottery. The I like that colors. a lot. I do too. I like the design. I like the blue and green colors. It appears to be in excellent condition. That is just a, uh, that's not a chip. That is a glaze mark. So I think that's an absolute pickup. We'll grab that. What else do we have? I want to look at this Chrysler Tower down here. Yes. I'll tell you a fun story. Yes. Huh, I like this Chrysler Tower, except for the fact that King Kong got to the antenna there. Looks like it. <laughs> An interesting story about the Chrysler Tower. Uh, it was built at the exact same time as the Empire State Building, and they were competing to be the tallest buildings in the world at the time. And if I understand my history correctly, the Empire State Building uh, hid the fact that it was going to have a big spire on top until the Chrysler Tower topped out and finished. And then they like thrust it up really fast the day after the Chrysler Tower and they became the tallest building in the world. Wow, that's kind of, uh, well, I guess that's not cheating, but they won. What are these down here, Will? Oh. They're plastic. They fooled me. I thought that was glass. And what's that blue there? All right, well, I'm just looking at this. This is, appears to be a handmade piece. It's a wall pocket, but it's not signed. So I think I'm, I'm good with that. And what do you, what else did you see? It's got like blue porcelain there. Right here? It's like a lusterware, but it looks fairly inexpensive. What does that say on there? It's a uh, copyright. 1984? Yes. I just, I don't care for this kind of, no. it doesn't do anything for me. Uh, let's see what we have. We have an egg. Fabergé, right? Oh, of course. It is, let's see what it says. Well, it's got two different prices. It's uh, Danbury Petunia, Mint. Petunia and the Purple Emperor. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. Looks in good condition. I think we'll pick that up. Very nice. Sometimes these are nice little pieces just to have in between. And uh, Danbury Mint usually has nice quality. So we're going to go ahead and get that. So we found this piece down there, but it's heavy. Uh, it is transfer wear and it is marked, but uh, I think I'm going to leave it. It just doesn't excite me. I, look at the way the gold is done. It's just not quality. Mm. So let's leave that. Let's see what else we have down here. We have a bell. That is Viking glass bell. Okay, I'd like to look this up. Being that I usually don't do bells, um, but being that it is Viking glass, let's just do a quick look up Something on that. Something about it is ringing your bell. <laughs> All right, so we looked this up, and even though it is Viking glass, it only sells for about $8, and they want six. So I think we're gonna leave it. Let's put it someplace really nice, and maybe a bell collector will pick that up. And while William was looking that up, I noticed this little box here. It's marked Hen Feathers. Obviously, that's the company. I'm going to open it up and just see what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Little flowers, little flower on the inside. 
That's a cute little box, hen feathers. It's from King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Huh. And it's just a, that's a really cute little box. I call that a tiny treasure. It is. It's absolutely going to be in our tiny treasures. So let's put that in the cart. What else do we have down here, Will? See anything else? What does this plaque say? This plaque says, uh, the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, and peace. That's nice. All right. All right, let's... Nope. No. And what is this piece down here? I think that's just like a home goods piece. Yep. Just was kind of attractive. We'll leave that. Somebody can see that. And let's move on to here. You know, it's really interesting. You really have to curate through all of the items to really extract the best. What is this little gold fish? That's weeping gold. Oh no, he's broken. Oh darn. Because he would have been fantastic. Yeah. He is absolutely a vintage weeping gold ashtray. Isn't that too bad? All right, trivia of the day. Yes. In what movie does Liam Neeson say the line, there's always a bigger fish? Oh. Leave it in the comments. I don't know. You got me on that one. I feel bad about that. That would be fantastic if he wasn't broken. That's too bad. What do we have here? It's a little... Looks like that's got a uh, missing... A missing... Missing petal? petal? Leaf? Leave that. And that's not Lennox in the back there, right? The frame? No. I wouldn't even have to look. It's not... You have a... Oh, look at these little boxes. That's a nice little one there. The little nesting box. Not terribly expensive. Let's see what they are asking. Three ninety nine, made in China. I don't think so. What's this up here? What do you see? I see a label. All right. What does that say? Oh, it's heavy. Genuine lead crystal, uh, made in West Germany. Oh wow! It's a little votive. So I'm not interested in that right now, though. I'm I'm just feeling so bad about that darn fish. He's so great. He's weeping gold and. Uh, pretty spectacular. Too bad. Mm. All right, let's move on. All right, so now we are in the artificial flowers and dried flowers and small vase section. And let's see. Wow. William, do you think this is a $100,000 vase? <laughs> I've heard about that. I read the story. She, it, it is a once in a lifetime thing. But you know what? I have had some pretty spectacular finds. Not quite that much, but some really fun stuff. And I think we should do a show about it someday. And I can show pictures of everything that I found that was a really big flip. Absolutely. That'll be a fun Me thing. Too. Yeah. Like you remember that Carpenter's poster that I got that was signed by Karen Carpenter? And her last concert? At her last concert. I paid $20 for it and I sold it for 1000 So I've got a lot of ones like that. So we're going to get into that soon. Oh, that's chipped right there. Darn. We have this elephant planter. Ugh. That needs a clean up. Uh, very much so. That's a, that's a newer one. I'm not going to mess with that. Let's see. Oh, he's a no drama llama made in China. Aww. Oh, do you see him? Oh, he's so cute. Too bad he's so inexpensive. Okay, let's look down here. That's not Lennox, of course. And let's see. Anything at all. I'm not seeing anything that's grabbing my attention. Oh, look at this. We've got llamas everywhere today. <laughs> all right, let's keep looking. Let's go ahead and turn the corner, Will. Okay, so we're kind of in the metal section. They've got, you know, a lot of different things here besides just about now i'll bet you anything that's nambe nambe all right 12.99 the thing is is that we have this size piece and it's really scratched up terribly scratched up but if there's one piece there might be another so let's keep looking yes indeed hey, uh, are you looking for something to propel the channel forward yes what am i looking at uh, oh the propeller i didn't see that 
I was looking at this box here. Oh, so scratched up. But it's got inlaid mother of pearl, it looks like. Hmm. Let's see. We have these look like brass candlesticks. Oh, they're copper craft. American made brassware. Topeka, Kansas. But they went $6 a piece for those. And uh, I just don't know how popular those would be right now. What is this? This little piece here. Definitely looks older. It is made in India. It's a little candle holder. Let that go. Let's see. Brassware? It looks... Nope. No, it looks lighter. What does it Much say? Much lighter. Made in the USA. Artistic churchware. Hmm. Oh, that looks like a collection plate. Of course. There we go. Collection plate. And let's keep looking and see if we see anything else. Now we're into kind of more modern pieces. So let's check out the mugs. Okay, so we're in the mug section. What does this say? Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Is that a puppuccino? Oh my goodness. That is so precious. Look at that little puppy. Keith. Kimberlyn. So precious. They're very specific though, but I am looking at this piece. Now it is got printing on like a tourist piece, but it's from a Chohula Puebla. Hmm. It's tradition, culture, and good friendship. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. I could be translating that totally wrong, but look at this. It's, it is like a handmade piece. I'm just trying to see, wish I knew what it said there. That says, uh, that is definitely a handmade piece. I think that would clean up. Can we just look this up real quick? Maybe we can get a read on it. Well, unfortunately, we couldn't really find anything on it. And since it does have advertising, if you will, on it, we are going to let it go. But that is an interesting piece. I wish I knew what that all meant, but it is a restaurant piece. So that tells me that much. What does this big mug say here? Let's see. Is that it's Seattle. Seattle? Hey. Where are we going to be in just uh, a few hours? Seattle. There we go. Put some Starbucks in there. The adventure continues, you guys, and you're coming right with us. Look at this. This is cool. It's yeah. old. Mm hmm. You know, obviously, I don't want to buy a tourist piece, but I like to appreciate the old tourist art. Uh -huh. You imagine somebody got that visiting the Virgin Islands in the 1970s. Yes, absolutely. Just fun artwork on it. It is. And now we're in the art section. Hey, you remember all those penguins we were seeing earlier? Yeah. I just noticed this guy up here. What do you see? There are penguins. And then there are penguins. Oh, no. It's a Roman centurion penguin. Julius Caesar win? I, uh, I just looked him up. Yeah. And he is vintage. He's 1985. He's Alden, made in Taiwan. Uh huh. He's adorable and he sells for about $25. So I'm nice. going to pick him up for a buck 99. Why not? That's a tiny treasure. And here is what appears to be an original watercolor 2012. Done. Yeah. I think it's just a um, novice piece, but the colors are lovely. And over here, look at this. Love one another. Oh, isn't that nice? It's a nice, nice thought. We've got a lot of other art that just is the usual fare. Hen here, William. You were just talking about it. Is the Empire State Building. Tallest building in the world for about 40 years. Oh, I just want to go back and look at these. Look at these little puppies. Aww. Aww. I think that is an original pastel. Oh, that's obviously with somebody's dogs. Love it. Do you think they're warm? Why? Because if they are, then that would make them hot dogs. Aha. Uh -huh. I, uh, I know what's on your mind. I'm getting hungry. Shall we hit one more Goodwill before we get some hot dogs? Let's do it. Okay. Goodwill numero three. All right. Let's see what they have. I think you already know what he says. I do. Yes. Let's see what they have. Rainy day clay. What is that? I'm, I'm curious. What is it? It is a, looks like a 
box. Oh, isn't that cute? Uh, you are my granddaughter. I am so lucky. Oh, that's very sweet. What's it say? Uh, by Bird Brain, hand painted. <laughs> that's cute. How much is it? It is. Let's move this. It is only a dollar ninety nine. I think I'm going to pick that up. I think so. I think there is a grandma out there that might really like that. So. Why not, right? Let's see. Let's get it back in there nice and neat. And it'll be easy to shift because it's in its original box with the styrofoam. And voila! It's simple as that. And it's a very, very nice little message. So, in the cart. Let's see what else we've got. That's a pretty color blue, votive. It is unmarked. Nice weight to it, but I don't see any, in other words, it's not any kind of Norwegian or Danish glass. It does have nice weight. What does this say? Fallout? Oh, it's, Nellis, from, a it's from a video game. Oh, Nellis Air Force Base? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, let's get this in the card. We have some crackle glass up there. What is that? That is, oh, it's a light fixture, not crackle glass. It's made to look like that. Now this, this, these inlaid pieces like this, even though they're production pieces, those can be pretty expensive actually. That's a candle holder. And uh, I've seen these, they sell for quite a bit of money in fancier decor stores. So it's just going to be too big to ship. So I am going to leave that, but that is, but it's a nice piece. We have a fish, wooden fish. Hey, what does the fish say? Very good. Yeah, don't don't patronize me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this glass here. This is an old one. Oh, it's so dirty. But it is an older one. Extremely scratched. If that was a set in perfect condition. It'd be worth some money. And those are just little... Not weeping gold. No. Now, that looks like that's part of a... Uh, some sort of... I don't want to say manger set, but some sort of... A religious display. Religious display, display. yes. You see what I'm seeing, right? And what is this here? Uh, hallmark. A hallmark. Dishwa Dishwasher safe hallmark. Can you see what that bag is back there? I can't even tell what's in it. Some American I, patriotic stuff. I think we might have looked at that before. And down here we have champagne. A champagne-scented travel candle. Mm. When you just have to take champagne with you wherever you go. Do you ever wake up in the morning and kind of feel like that? Yep. Usually, usually on days ending in Y. He looks like a Mr. Google where you squeeze it and it goes... Bloop, bloop. That was, that was the official term for it, you know. Okay, hey, is this mic on? What do we have? We have a cake, a cake plate. Not too much. Can you see what's in that baggie there? It looks like we have, hmm, look at the bottom. Nope, 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 but thank you. Let's keep going. What do we have here? So woven piece. And look at this. Aren't those strange? Wrong time of year for those guys, huh? Come July, they might be fun. And if you have the address of 682. Or 826. Or. Or 862. Or 28. Or 68. We're playing well, a math game. We have like a patriotic theme going here today. And I think we've looked at him before. Yep. And see, we've looked at this before. It's a single coaster. Unfortunately, only one. And the bunny, we've looked at him before. Let's see what this is. Oh, it is. It looks like Ikea, doesn't it? I think it? it is Ikea. Yeah, looks like it. 
All right. Well, got some pretty rocks there. Shall we go to another aisle? Let's do it. Okay, we have clear vases. What are the chances? I didn't expect to see any. Oh, looks like the fire alarm just went off. Okay. Well, what is going on? Okay, I'm scared. No. Okay, they stopped it. So they only have an Emur. They don't have a Gen C. Ah. So, all right, all right. let's keep going. I think, have we looked at this guy before? Oh, yes, Marshalls. Still like it. It's just cute. Don't be angry at me. It's just cute. Let's see, what is this guy back here? Nope, just a little pot. And up here we have this vase. It looks like it might have been made in Italy, but it is very it's chipped. Very chipped. And it's not. Oh, darn. Let's see this guy here. Oh, a little turtle. Very, very, very inexpensive. Turtle. Well, they still got some flashing lights, Yeah. Uh oh. And there she rolls. Well, it appears the emergency has passed, so we are going to check out the mugs. Let's see if we can see anything. Oh, look at him. It's a Shih Tzu. Is that Starbucks? No, America Wear. America Wear. Ah. Unfortunately, though, it's been used quite a bit. Yeah. So we are going to have to leave that, but that is precious. If you had a Shih Tzu, that would be kind of fun for you. Look at that. That's pretty. Brand new. Who makes this one? Let's see. It is... It's not cooperating, is no. it? No. I think it's unbranded, really. Hey, uh, do you want to get this for your uncle? Uh, Bob. Bob's your uncle. And what is that? Oh, Vail. Vail, Colorado. Yep. That's an artist-made piece, but for the tourist trade. So, too bad that's on there. Let's see what else we have. Howdy from Texas, the Lone Star State. That looks vintage -y. It does. Let's see what else we have down here. I'm not seeing too much. What is this? Is this a lion on here? Oh, it is. Leo the lion. Aw. All right. Let's leave him there. And folk craft hearts made in China. That's that folksy china factory over there. You know, if you put some hot liquid into that Shih Tzu um, mug, that would mm -hmm. make a hot dog. Okay, I, I... Let's check the art out. I and hear you. And we're getting hot dogs. Okay. Look at Buffalo. Grand Teton National Park. Oh, it's Chip. That's too bad. Let's see what else. This is pressed glass. Not very expensive. All right, let's just run through the clear glass here for a second. See if we see anything at all. These are Shannon Irish Crystal right there. Shannon Designs. Now, if they were Waterford, I'd probably pick them up. Let's keep going to see if we see anything. We have picked some things up around here. What does that say? Uh, made in Indonesia, Crystal Clear, huh. name of that brand. Those are pretty, a little delicate. Looks like it's hand painted. Haviland, France, pretty dish. Unfortunately, the gold around the rim is worn off. So in case you get a dish and you don't know what to do, mm. it gives you instructions. I command. Ray Dunn eat. All right, let's keep going. Dishes are a little sparse today. Why don't we go check out the art? That's what I suggest. Well, the last time we were in this particular art section, we found that beautiful Matisse print. So let's see if there's anything for us this time. This is just a small little piece. It's just a, a regular, nothing much print. Let's keep looking here to see if we see anything at all. Oh, there you go. He's a hoot. All right. 
and we have a koi fish just hanging out. Let's put him up there. Let's see. Anything else? Let's see. We have that's a print. Absolutely a print. Well, not too much in the artwork today. Oh, look at that. That's just a you know production piece, but it's very cheerful. It's by Liesel. And you know what? That would look absolutely adorable in a little girl's room. Oh, look, we have some Star Wars. Anakin. Anakin Skywalker. Oh, and we have Brooklyn. All right. Ahem. What do you see? I see a hot dog. <laughs> I like that. Standing on the other dog. That's funny. That's funny, funny. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. Birds. Look at that. Wall art special moments. Okay. All right, William. I tell you what. Let's check out and go get lunch. As promised, three delicious hot dogs. Sometimes there's no better treat than grabbing a Kirkland quarter pound franc at Costco and sitting in the car talking about what we found thrifting. Well, we enjoy our hot dogs. Let's see what Harleen's pick of the day is. My pick of the day is this beautiful mid-century pottery bowl. It has its original Rubens Los Angeles Japan sticker on the bottom, along with other maker's marks and a production number of 1412. Rubens Los Angeles was a prolific name in MCM home decor, and this is a wonderful example. I love the blue glaze with hints of green, and the detailed design makes this a real stunner. This piece, along with many others, can be purchased right now at pickerroad.com. Now I think Will has a pick of the day too. My pick of the day, of course, are these animation cells. They are so cool. They're from the 1991 animated spin-off of the Back to the Future franchise, and every cell is one of a kind. Each piece has a hand-drawn black and white sketch on paper with a layered animation film cell on top featuring the full color hand-painted final frame. With original certificates of authenticity from Universal Studios, these would make great additions to any animation collection or could serve as inspiration for someone looking to get into the field. I'm going to be offering some of these cells in our brand new pop culture section on Pickerow.com. So please head on over and check them out. Now, let's recap all of today's finds. Well, it's been a great day of thrifting. We found some really interesting items like that ceramic piece of yours, and yes. I am pumped about the animation cells. Those are so cool. And you can never go wrong with hot dogs. If you guys get a chance, please go over and check out pickerroad.com. It's where you're gonna find 
a lot of the treasures that we thrift and discover along the way. Also, if you can, give us a like, ring that little bell, and subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment. We read them all and we really appreciate all of the interaction because we want everyone to join the journey.